this is Trinanian from Air Squad, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, an animation with the Aurora 3D Animation Maker. So if you haven't seen my last video on how to get it, that would be a uh, great thing to look at as uh, I found out how to get the full version for free. But yeah, so let's start out. So you can start out by selecting an animation, so that's sort of the easy way to go and it already does something. Or you can start out with like text or anything. Uh, for me, I'll probably just start out with nothing and I'll pick right over here. So let me think. I'll, I'll just pick, let's see, let's, let's try HTML5. So what you can do with HTML5, you double click it and you delete all of it and you type whatever you like to type. So yeah, I'll type Air Squad for this. And what you can do is with, um, as you can see, there's three different arrows and boxes inside those arrows. Uh, with that, you can, when it's selected, you can change things. So for example, you can change how this one turns like this. You can change how this one turns like this. So that's the red one, sort of up and down. Green one's left and right. And blue one's like side to side. Now if you click the boxes, what you can do if you select it, so if it's selected you can stretch it out like this, and as you can probably tell with these, you can squish it, stretch it out, and same with this one, squish it, stretch it out. Now to move it, it's quite easy, just go like that, and there are certain commands on the side as well, so you can change the text size, so you can make it go way down there, way far away, or you can make it nice and close. So I'll just get it to look nice, so I'll go like this, maybe something like that. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, the next thing that you might want to do is you might want to add some color. So uh, we can quickly add some color to this thing. Uh, you can go to the side, text, text outline. I think I'll start with the text, uh, I'll make it blue, text outline, I'll make it like, how about Darker, darker green, who knows, maybe even like purple, let's try purple, ooh, I like purple, it's pretty nice. So yeah, so you can start with something like that, and you can change different gradients, so you can have different patterns on the sides, whatever you'd like to do, and yeah, so that's pretty much that, so you can also bevel things, so you can have a different type of edge on everything, you can put a different edge on it, if you like, different types of edges. I think I'll probably, let's see, hmm, I don't know, I think I'll, I think I'll stick with this one, and yeah, so you can change how much it's beveled, you can make it huge if you really wanted it to, but yeah, so I'll just leave it nice and, oh, that's nothing, oh, well, let's add a bit less than that, perfect, so you can change the, the shape type, you can change different things with that, with that properties. That's like the size that I showed you earlier. Um, you can have different designs on it. And I haven't like, played around with this much, but uh, yeah, so last thing I'd like to show you is up at the top over here on uh, styles, you can uh, click different things so you can up here, that's sort of just like bolded, that's another bolded. You can do completely cut out or border around either or. But yeah, so I'll probably stick with what I have now. And another cool thing that you can do is you can add different things. So you can add like uh, rotations. So if you click uh, a rotation right here and you press play, it'll start spinning. And another thing that you can do is with rotations you can spin on different axes. So it's like spin on the green one, spin on the red one. So instead of doing uh, left and right, you can go up and down. So you can do front flip, right? Or side to side, so it spins upside down, does interesting stuff like that. And you can just play around with all these. There's a bunch of fading, stretching. Uh, but yeah, so another cool thing that you can add is you can add camera angles. So what you can do is, you can deselect this, 
and press stop to move it, to move the uh, counter to the very beginning. Now right under the uh, zero by the uh, time area, there's a thing called node any, and um, it's like animations, right? So camera animations, if you click on camera animations and you click the little camera down at the bottom right here, it'll come up with position, so you can change the position. So that's rotation, these are also rotations, and you can sort of mess around with that a bit, right? So, yeah, so you can do that, you can change the position of the camera, so if I want to go negative 20, maybe negative 50, how about, and rotate it a bit this way. change it so the camera's closer up and if you want to go like really far away you could go 200 change that to maybe negative 200 change the camera so it's facing it and you can start there right and as you go through it just stays there so at the very end now what you can do is you can add another one by clicking set once again and you can change it back to normal you can change it to do whatever so I'll change it to have about negative 10 I'll have maybe 10 no that's a little bit too close 50 zoom that's even too much how about 100 100 is good and then you can rotate it this way like so so it goes right back to the beginning and now if you look from the beginning and you stop it, it moves closer and closer and eventually ends up just like that. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it with that. You can save obviously and export the animation. Now I recommend since it's uh, really hard to export and takes up a lot of, uh, a lot of the, your computer's uh, CPU. What you should do is have nothing else running at the same time, and I'll just decline that temporarily, but have nothing else running, and uh, that should really help you a lot for your speed and quality of your animation. But yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, be sure to check out some of my other tutorials on how to do stuff like this and just, just anything. And yeah, so subscribe, like, comment if you have any questions, because this is... It's very confusing stuff, but yeah, so thanks for watching.